Hello. Let's do a few videos, a few activities, where we go over fundamental properties of sinusoids. This should be mostly review for you. But the idea is that we, since we're going to use sinusoids so much in this course, given that they are the building blocks of all other signals, as we previously seen, we want to start becoming very comfortable with their properties and manipulating them. And so you should know, of course, that there is a relationship between the period in a periodic signal and the frequency of that signal, and that the, the relationship is inverse of, of each other. Let's go ahead and, and show that that's indeed the case, that the period is the inverse of the frequency. Um, so let's do that. Let's do a, an engineering proof, if you want. So you think about a periodic signal. What is the definition of a periodic signal, mathematically? x of t is equal to some x, that x of t plus some period. Okay, so there is a mathematical equality there between x of t and x of t with some period, t0. Okay, that's a finite number. And so if you look at a signal that is a sinusoidal signal, uh, so a cosine of omega zero, so at a particular frequency that is constant t, plus some phase, right? That, if we have a sinusoidal signal, we're going to have that is cosine of omega zero times t plus t zero, plus phase. So all I have done here is to substitute t for t plus t0 here. That's all. And so what we see in this case, so applying the definition of periodic signal, is that this will be equal to a cosine of omega zero t plus omega zero t zero plus phase or a cosine omega zero t plus phase that is what we were starting with plus omega zero t t zero okay so notice this was our starting point. We get something that is the same plus something else here. Well, let's look at the periodicity of the cosine. So since we have that cosine of theta is equal to cosine of theta plus two pi, Right, if you recall here, zero pi, two pi, and the cosine r x, right? Value here. We can see, therefore, that this must be the two pi. Right? So we have 2 pi equals to omega 0 t0, zero, or 2 pi equals 2 pi times f0 zero times t0. Zero. The 2 pi and the 2 pi cancel, and we have f0 zero times t0 zero equals to 1, or the fact that 1 is the inverse of the other, t0 zero equals 1 over f0, meaning the period is the inverse of the frequency. Now, you knew the end result, and what we are doing here is just showing it by starting with the definition of a periodic signal, 
inputting a sinusoidal signal with a definition we substitute t t here we work out the mathematics you look at the periodicity of the particular signal that we are looking theta is equal to theta plus 2 pi and then we show the result again what we are trying to do here is just getting warm up and becoming comfortable with working with sinusoids, manipulating sinusoids, and really understanding the properties of sinusoids. In the last activity, we are going to look at the relationship between phase shifts in sinusoids and time shifts. Um, and then we'll do a, a, an example, mathematical example. Thank you.